In this video, I'm going to walk you through the very easy steps of adding a child theme to your WordPress website. Specifically, I'm going to be working with the Generate Press theme, a theme that I recommend and I personally use across all of my websites. And while there are many benefits to having a child theme on your WordPress website, uh, I'm not going to go over them now. They'll become evident by the end of the video. So let's hop right on into the tutorial portion. So right here I have my website tonyteaches.tech and the first thing you want to do, uh, and it's really easy if you're using Generate Press, is just type in Generate Press Child Theme. And the first result here it says using a child theme. All we have to do is download this zip file. It's a blank child starter theme. And go back over to your website, go into your dashboard, and under appearance, click on, you have one theme installed, Generate Press, like I said, click on add new. And we're going to upload that zip file that we just downloaded. So go ahead and find that in your downloads folder and click on install now. So that has successfully installed. We can return to the theme page. And what we're going to do now is activate the child theme. And what this is, is kind of inherit pretty much all of the stuff from the generate press parent theme. So it's like a parent child relationship. The one thing that it's not going to inherit though is some of the custom CSS. So let's let's see. So we just saw what my website looks like before. So let's see how it looks now. It's going to look uh, pretty much the same. But what we want to make sure when we go in here to customize this theme and down at the bottom once it loads, you'll see additional CSS. And it actually, um, I'm surprised, it actually pulled in the CSS this time. In the past, I have not seen that be the case, but just for this, uh, for this type of thing, make sure that you come in here to make sure that the additional CSS from the parent theme has been inherited to the child theme because I know that's not always the case. So that's really cool. We have that. Otherwise, you have to manually copy and paste it. Now, while we have this child theme installed, we can go into the theme editor. And this is one of those many benefits that I talked about. You can add your CSS right in here without interfering with the parent theme because we are editing the child theme and not the actual theme itself. A lot of people get in trouble when they edit the actual theme itself. So if we were in here editing the generate press theme, they have all these files, PHP files, CSS files. People come in here, play around with it, and they break their website. That is a very bad thing to do. When you have a child theme, you keep all of that functionality and you are able to pretty much start from scratch in a sense where you have these blank templates, these blank CSS files and PHP files where you can add your own functions. So in the next few videos I'm going to be uploading to YouTube here, I'm going to be showing you how to add some additional functionality to your WordPress website through the functions.php file in your uh, generate press child theme. So please stay tuned for those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.